I'm so glad I'm recording this. Yes, there it is. Is it right? Yep. Awesome, because now I can't see it at all. That's it. That's ace. All right, let's go with that. <laughs> Hang on, let's see if I can change it with arrows. Oh, yep, I can. Okay. Program. Excellent. Which way am I going now? Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Yay. All right, so we're going to get you guys um, up and doing some stuff uh, in this. So I really highly recommend that what I really want for you guys is to go through this process, but in going through this process to get some really good ideas. And obviously it's a bit um, weird compared to what we used to do where we did, um, we, we just had all scout leaders and so scout leaders could talk with scout leaders. But on the other hand, you've got the advantage of having the chance for a discussion about knowing what kids coming in with, what kids are going out with and so on. So theoretically, um, it will work really well. So there are kind of three types of programming. There's the long, medium, and there's the short term. So the short term is just your night programs. Sometimes they can get a little on the scrambled side, but we'll talk about them later. And the long and medium terms are long would be things like your um, one-year program, sometimes even a three-year program. Um, you might have plans for a jamboree, and so there might be an uh, three one-year programs, but the overriding one might be your preparations for the jamboree and fundraising, and that might be your committee or it might be you, but um, your long-term program is looking well into the future. And kids should be involved in that, um, but of course some kids that are involved in that long-term program may not even be there by the time it actually eventuates, so that's the, the tricky bit. Medium term is usually your term program based on your school terms, all right? And, um, oops, hang on. <laughs> I just fiddled, sorry, with my fingers. Um, and the medium, so the medium term is your school term, and it's really good for kids and parents to know what's happening in advance. Of course, that can all melt down in a lockdown, but anyway. And then your short term program, as I said, is your weekly program. So it's really important that if we're going to be successful, and there's masses of evidence accumulated since probably back to the 1970s that say that a successful scout scouting group will have a good program. It won't be a program that is um, just kind of cobbled together at the last minute. Now, we're all capable or have been known to cobble together a program at the last minute, to be completely honest with you. But if you do that on a regular basis, that's when it starts to fall apart. So like I said, one to three years, medium term, school terms. Um, and I guess the really important thing is to make sure that whatever program you're planning, that you have reviewed the last thing. Now, they would tell you that this is a new and exciting thing, this review thing, but we've been doing it for a long time. So reviewing what we did last time, seeing if it was worth doing, is really worthwhile because what that will actually ultimately do is save some time in the future. And if you want to do the same thing again, it's fantastic to have um, something written down on the last program that you've probably still got on your computer from you know a year or two ago with a comment about how well that worked or how well it didn't because you, your unit council will potentially not be the same group of kids. So it's kind of handy. Um, just in terms of programming, um, we have started a Google Drive um, or a whole Googly thing um, for our group and that has been quite good. So um, we now put our programs and our term programs, we've got it all set up section-wise. I'm sure you can do that much more um, quickly and easily than I can. Um, you might use some other method, but that is really quite a handy thing. And now that I have hopefully got one young leader sucked in and uh, another one coming, then hopefully um, that will go because she's quite keen to sort of get everything in. I've dumped all my stuff off my computer into that Google Drive. Um, probably needs a bit of sorting, but um, but at least it's there. And so, you know, there's some resources for people to use. So if you've come into something where there's not a lot of anything around, maybe that's a really good place to start. And, um, you know, think about um, obviously your succession plan when you leave, um, but, you know, things that have been done in the past. And if you hang around for a few years, it will come back to um, some things. All right, so this plan do review, super important. Um, a new formal concept, but not a concept um, foreign to scouting anyway. Um, sometimes um, you need just a really big wall calendar. Sometimes it's a book style one, but you really will need a calendar 
and a visual for the kids to look at. So whether you do that on a computer, whether you do that in the book, um, that I sort of have one that's out in the foyer. Um, we try and have sort of Cubs and Scouts and Venturers on it. We've only got three, or oh, we've got four sections, Bow Rover Crew um, have their own. Um, but sometimes that kind of works and sometimes it doesn't. But the theory's there and it's really handy for parents to know that in a couple of weeks, um, Auntie um, Lulu's having her birthday and, oh, that's the same weekend as Scout um, Hike and so we need to sort of work out which one we're doing just to have that bigger picture. So I sort of put it out in the foyer where they're waiting and that sort of seems to work pretty well. Um, there's a whole lot of online tools. Um, there's a program planner um, there and there's the website there. Um, so... Um, Scouts Victoria have started to put together some various different um, tools and that um, A3 planner is, A3 is a pretty good size to be able to put like the key things on. And when we're talking about the key things, that's not that we're, you know, doing what we're doing each night, but, you know, if you've got a theme or um, sometimes for Cubs you have a theme and or if you've got something that is um, going on like a Scout hike and that, parents can get their heads around that. So. This is uh, obviously a medium term one or at least part of a medium term one um, and looking at the various different um, things. So this one is a scout version just for the scout parents. So out in the foyer we also have, this is not mine, but we also have um, this sort of thing. We have the term program um, blown up and big out in the foyer as well. And it does um, mean that parents, again, um, know sort of a bit more about what's going on because they don't seem to print it off these days. They have it on their phone and it's too small to read and they can't figure it out and you get kids coming down without what they need to have. So this sort of term, a month by month or term by term program is ideal and it just gives that big overview. Another way that you can do it, um, so this one's got a little bit more detail. Um, it sort of, if you've got a parent roster, so some of you will be running with what we're doing at our Cub Pack at the moment because we're really short of leaders, and that is having parents on roster. Again, if um, Caven and Declan can't come on the 22nd of February, um, then they can have a look and see that Gloria and Chelsea are the lead parents earlier and they can organise that for themselves. So you're taking away all that responsibility of it coming through you. The expectation on our parent roster is that if you can't do it when I've rostered you, too bad, too sad, you need to swap with someone. It's not an option to talk to me about it and it's not an option to um, uh, to not turn up. So um, they can then organise that more easily um, in that way. Um, they can also do it over our team app. We've got a team app that they can message other people, but they can't message other people if they don't know who it is. Um, this is um, obviously a very big, massive uh, sort of arrangement. Oh, it's disappeared. That was banjos. Oh, that's banjos. Okay, sorry. Do you want me to go back? There we go. That's banjos one. And um, it, it obviously doesn't give a lot of detail, but it does give enough detail that, the big picture stuff is there. Probably that would have been better a couple of slides earlier. <laughs> I know. I didn't check with you they were in. All right. So <laughs> um, your group events, obviously group camps, um, yearly events, all of these things, um, non-scout yearly events, Mother's Day and so on, Father's Day, all these need to be put onto this so that you can work around it because there is nothing worse than planning a camp and as a young leader, I remember doing this, um, being completely oblivious to Mother's Day. Not only was my mother furious, um, but half <laughs> most of the scout troops' mums were furious. So we made the Sunday lunch for the mums. <laughs> and we had everybody come up to um, uh, Joseph Paris Park and um, have lunch with us. So just knowing these things, knowing where they are and how they fit in means you also don't have three weeks in a row where you've got scout stuff. Um, so, yeah, all right, so this is just looking at that one again, popping them all in there. All right, so, oops, that was a bit quick, sorry. The, the arrow keys are a bit, um, bit touchy. Um, 
because I really can't see much of this at all. Um, so then you put in obviously which weeks you are available and um, choose, you know, where what OAS that you are particularly focusing on if you're going to focus on it as a troop. Um, obviously scouts can choose and cubs can choose to focus on it um, together, but probably in the younger sections especially, you will try and sort of stick with those areas and doing that as a as a unit, whether you're a troop or a pack or a unit in general. <laughs> I did what I did and used the wrong terminology. Um, so the unit may do a full year or six months or term by term of a particular OAS um, or of a particular focus or a theme. And yeah, so that calendar then becomes the next planning tool for the next level up. So when we're doing our medium one. Um, and then, like I said, I've already talked about that. All right, so this is obviously the term one and very prettily decorated L, nice job. Um, color coded with things that are weekends. I use color coding as well. That's um, very helpful to parents. I don't actually do block color coding. I just use different colored text. Um, it doesn't really matter. It just points out to the parents which things are Thursday night activities for us and which ones are weekends. And it does make a difference um, to parents because parents are very, very busy. Having had three children of my own, I'm well aware of that, go through and for a number of years had three sections, <laughs> them operating in three sections. So it was um, pretty chaotic and programs up on the fridge and, you know, falling off the fridge and, you know, just not knowing. And it was all right, the kids knowing, that was great. That was fabulous. That didn't necessarily mean the whole operation ran smoothly because I was the operations manager. So <laughs> um, including anything special that's happening um, near the start of the next term so that in this particular instance, the start of the next term in the term three term would be the fantastic race. But popping that onto that program la la larger than life just means that parents have, again, got that in their heads. I really um, encourage, can you go back one quickly, Lynn? Sorry. I really yes. encourage my kids to, my parents to print it out and stick it on the fridge or stick, yeah. stick it on the, the kid's door because uh, there's nothing worse than what are we doing at Scouts? And I was go and look, you know. So I really encourage my kids to do that. So And the parents know and you know and they know and everybody knows and everybody hopefully is on the right page. Yeah. Hopefully. Although more and more parents And, and, and I can just interject as well. Yeah. Sorry, Lynn. No, um, this is obviously an old program. If you're producing one for the for that's going to go home now, you want to make sure you're including who the lead and the assist is for the night, particularly in the older sections. Well, no, for all the sections, because then they know which night is theirs, so they can be prepared and um, have all, any planning they need to have done done. Yeah, because you can see this is from 2017. So what the rule was for us, well, the rule's not the right word, but what we did was whoever was duty patrol, basically the PL and the APL were doing the lead and assist. What would yeah. So what would now call lead and assist? But with now that everybody's got to do it, then yes, we, it certainly needs to be a little bit more on there. And that leader in charge uh, probably isn't as important anymore. Uh, we would have that on there so that the leader knows which PL – who should be chasing the PLs and whatnot, and, and the PL knows. The Sorrento one off. We've done that for years. Had leader and the and the person running the activities for the night. So don't look at me. It was the person who did the slides who's <laughs> wussed out because he wants to go buy a house. He's going to buy a house. Spend seven hundred thousand dollars, cheeky little brat. Anyhow, so um, so yeah. So you can it, the more information that you can put back onto kids. They've talked about it at their troop council, unit council. They've um, done, you know, put it all together. They, the more information that's there that they will probably not have written down and they won't have used a diary and they won't have put it on their phone, the better. So that way it's all just there ready for them and there can be no excuses. Well, there can be plenty of excuses but no real excuses, no passable excuses. Um, so trying to... We know that the kids have to contribute a lot to this, and that's fine. Um, but there's times when you will need to make sure that it's not just nodding night. Let's do a nodding night. Oh, a nodding night would be a great idea. Um, you know, you want to encourage the kids to um, put some personal flair into it, so to really think outside the square. And sometimes 
And that might even be for you to give them a bit of a treat to do the activity and to run the thing as well. So they, no one will get a leader or an assist. That's okay. Look, you'll have a good night. It'll be fun. It'll be different and that'll be fine. So really try and, you know, have a little bit more focus on those um, programs. So where do you get your ideas from? Training course? Hopefully you're writing things down. That's why I said to have a pen and paper ready or, or if you're doing it on your phone, that's fine. Um, there is also a whole lot of, like I said, the past records that are on hopefully some sort of um, group um, documentation. Now, I really encourage you to try and do that. Um, Scout handbooks, it doesn't matter if it's an old one. It's still got some good ideas. Um, the Scouting Mag's digital now, so that you might even find, though, in your Scout Hall, a whole lot of old Scout Mags, and they had some fantastic sections written by some very experienced leaders. Now, if you've got kids that are not very confident doing their leads and their assists, this is all new, looking back at some of those and giving, the, they had quite detailed instructions, giving the kids those to work with can be a really um, useful thing to do. So we have um, a set of them down in our scout hall. Um, you might find them in the back of a cupboard somewhere, but as long as there's not too many spiders there, there's this section for whatever section or unit that you are running um, had a two-page sort of middle spread of a whole lot of different ideas, games and activities and things like that. So at unit council or at um, or just if a kid said volunteered to instruct something, then you can have a bit of a look at those. Um, obviously, we can Google lots of stuff and kids will do a lot of Googling and that's okay too, but there's a heap of other sorts of um, things. Kids and leaders' imaginations are fantastic. Kids' imaginations are really good. They're terrific, but you just need to, they won't have necessarily looked at the peripheral vision. Um, so you need to make sure that when they're coming up with their ideas that they're thinking a little wider than, um, that, you know, that they've thought about other things that might happen, other things that might impinge on their ideas or their activities. Um, so they might want to have a um, Halloween night and they might want to have a lot of jelly and stuff, but they might not think about who's going to clean up the jelly, who's going to make the jelly, how are we going to get it all cold and get it down there, that sort of thing. That sort of thing is what we need to encourage the kids to think through because that's how they're going to become those better adults. Sorry, I've got the dog here as well. Um, I think she's ready for dinner. Um, make sure you have a nice balance, um, that you're across all the different OAS areas, that you're looking at the different badges that kids might be interested in doing um, and that, you know, you've covered some stuff that's scouty. Um, some of these um, bigger areas, these areas that are um, like scout hike and things like that, are things that you can't really produce in your own troop very easily. So they are a great thing to make sure that you try and get some kids on. Not every kid has to go, um, and a lot of those activities you don't. Um, you can have. You might have a district group going. Um, especially if you're in smaller districts where the district will take, um, one leader from the district will take a group of kids and at some other event you'll be that district leader, the leader representing the district and you'll take a group of kids. So work with other groups and other districts because you can't be everything to everyone and um, although it's, will kill you trying. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, you know, really try and work with other people around you and that's one of the beauties of District Mindari really. Um, so cycling through the core OAS is, is good to do um, and make sure your basic badge work, it makes sure that your basic um, badge work is covered. So where Al said that not every kid will get a peak award, um, we, we have, a, we usually have every year two or three kids that get their peak award. We have a scout troop of 24, that means a lot of kids don't get it, um, but you want to make sure or I really try to make sure that I give opportunities or that there are opportunities created for kids to get it if they want to. And it doesn't worry me if they get it or they don't. I, I, it, that's really up to them. That is entirely up to them. But it, what you do find is that if you give those opportunities, there might be a couple of kids that do. And once a couple of kids do, they kind, it kind of breeds, it's a bit self-perpetuating. Um, you know, a couple of kids see that the other kids get it and, it, and, it, and it's good. So... Um, just keeping that badge work ticking along um, 
sort of don't hate it and 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 try and make it as fun and interesting so that you get as many kids involved in that. Um, so with your leads and assists, we've already sort of talked about that. A leader in charge um, for the night would be really in charge of making sure that the that the kids are doing it. And not every night has to have a leader and assist a lead and assist in it. It might, um, but you need to make sure that you've got enough covered that all the kids can get that have that opportunity to do that. So I guess it's sort of like the buck stopping with you. The kids need to be driving this, the kids need to be doing this in unit um, councils and, and stuff like that, but you need to really have the big picture in your head and making sure that you're giving opportunities for the kids that need it or want it to do what they need to do, and that's good planning. Um, a bit later, Al, I might just copy that and put that into the chat um, so that if you wanted to copy it out of the chat, you can. Um, just in case you're still doing some scouting at home because we could end up being locked down their weeks um, from different schools and stuff again. From what I'm saying, stuff like that. That's bad. We are going to be all face to face, and we're going to have fun. Never again in lockdown. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I heard a lot of people say that last year. Um, so I want. Um, we're going to give you guys a bit of time now to um, go through and do a bit of a term program, which is going to be a bit of a challenge for you, given that you're in different sections and stuff. Um, but just to kind of talk through the process that you would go through with unit council, um, how much perhaps that you would um, expect from Joey's versus Cubs versus Scouts versus Dentures versus Rovers, and um, so you can do that in your sections in the in the rooms as well. Um, and um, basically, um, just plan a term program. Now, while I'm saying plan a program, I'm, I'm would like to see something started at least um, before we finish um, in a term kind of uh, format but I also if somebody in your in in your group says oh we could do this and you've never heard of that before please ask the question please get some information about it if you need to like it's about that too that's a super important part of this training um, so does anyone have any questions no, we don't have time for questions because somebody waffled and went too long. Not oh, pointing sorry. fingers at anyone. Okay. Oh, I'm hang on. No. <laughs> um, make sure when you're doing it, you're allocating a challenge area too. Oh, make yeah. sure right. somebody is writing it down um, and shooting it to us because we'll put that again together in that info pack um, that we're going to send out at the end of it. Um, so everybody's got – so hopefully we all get – three patrols get three – term programs done we'll have then everybody will have three programs at the end of this course to, to go through and look at so we're going to give you 10 minutes deep contact details on those two. yep uh they'll give you 10 minutes to go through and discuss it so you just want a theme for the night what you're doing it was going to be towards badge work what challenge area all that kind of stuff i'm going to open those rooms up now you don't want detailed nightly programs not yet no that's next that's Here comes one patrol. It's the kookaburras. Hello, kookaburras. Who did the scroll? Who did the um scribing? Gilbert. Okay. Gilbert, you've been dogged Gilbert. in three weeks running. I know. You got to share the load, mate. No, he is very uh, competent and capable, and it's easier just to have one delegated person. Uh huh. All right, um, Gilbert, we're going to get you to share your screen since you're the first back. Do you want to get ready to do that just to give us a quick overview, a super quick, like, 30-second overview, um, and please don't forget to send it to Al. Yeah, I could do that easily in 30 minutes. Um, uh, that was seconds. No, that was seconds. seconds. <laughs> oh, seconds. Yeah. He's very punctual. We were the first in with the scout zone, so. Yep. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Yes, you were. That's how I know. All right, so everyone, Gilbert's just sharing his screen as you come back. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a 30-second wrap. I'd like one person from each um, patrol to share their screen when it's your turn, and please don't forget to email these to Al, the people who were the writers. So take it away, Gilbert. And Gilbert, right. for those who are so really old, you may need to make that a bit bigger. Uh, yeah, no problem at all. Uh, control plus is not working. Question mark? No, it's not. Oh, there it is. How the hell did you type that much in 10 minutes? <laughs> oh, you see my keyboard. <laughs> it's uh, the fanatical ones that the people have in the court. I think you cheated. 
away. <laughs> Prove it. He's, he was All right, 20, 20 seconds left. Games <laughs> night, shit, line drawing, true. craft prep, uh, wide games, canoeing, wizard lizard, night hike, kids corner, origami paper nights, walk and collect rubbish around the uh, and make cards for the nursing home. End of the night day thing, ice skating and bike hike, depending on COVID. All right, you get an extra 20 seconds to tell me what the lizard wizard is. Uh, this was a recommendation by uh, Louise. Uh, All right, Louise, first. quick. Where's Louise? Tell yeah, us. Go ahead. So she's a local lady that has a lot of nature, natural um, animals, native animals to Australia. And over the lockdown period, she's been doing online Zoom presentations. So 45 minutes for $25. Otherwise, you can do face-to-face when you can, and it's $200. But she brings out all her lizards and um, possums and sugar glider possums and frogs and everything. So it's been great for online because it's cheap and it's something interesting for the kids to watch. That's very cool. Very good. All right, thank you. Rosellas, have you got someone to share and do that bit, please? I can go quickly over it. I have, uh, yet again, been thrifty with the information. Uh, Resourceful. That, that's exactly right. So we'll go for the share screen on documents. All right. Can everyone see? So yep, tower building for the innovation, tribune night personal development, pet camp, packing development as well. We're getting ready for a camp. <laughs> Gilwell Park outdoors, clean up day clean up and some games, a clean up community. Olympics can be a mixture of outdoors and personal development and their history. This was basically all come up with by the kids. Planting school, outdoors, master shift development, Knox Quest. I'm not, not going to pretend to say not about these because that's from someone else's thing. Showtime development, mental night. There's also development and then bowling, laser tape, but the kids can go out into the community. Cool. Present in uniform. Stop sharing because that's fun. Right. Has anyone got any questions on that one? What's mental night? Well, they all get to oh, run around like mental. Yeah, no, nah, it, uh, it was a mental health night, but it was just uh, abbreviated to a mental night. <laughs> uh, who's last? Right. And um, the kingfishers. That would be us. Um, I've got to try and find the right screen of many on my computer to open. I think that's the right one. I understand your pain. <laughs> yeah, so, um, okay, so uh, we we did a theme for ours, reconnecting with the outdoors. So we're thinking that we're coming out of COVID lockdown and so it's a good opportunity to refresh the outdoor skills. Um, we thought it would be a good idea. We're thinking about how do we integrate community into a focus on getting some of our outdoor adventure badges. So a lead up to that um, is doing some, for the community aspect, is working, uh, having a joint night with the Cubs. Um, so we're a scout group to do a refresher on knots. So there's a bit of preparing for the joint night with the Cubs, doing a joint night with the Cubs in the second week, then building on that through the chariot building, which is one of the things you needed for outdoor adventure, um, racing the chariots in the next week. So kind of building week on week. Um, there's a community something in there because we didn't quite get to work out what it was, but we were just trying to, you know, break it up a bit. Um, Daryl was talking about the importance of just having some lots of fun in there, so we chucked in some rock climbing um, just to kind of get everyone excited. Um, hut building in the local park, so back to some of those skills for the outdoor adventure. Um, gadget night and then a cooking planning and then a, a cooking night um, that was around the campfire and then following on from that, the unit council at the end. So campfire review, unit council, following on from that. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, that's, um, that's great. And we, we're going to be working on those just a little bit more. Um, sorry, my dog is, has not been and she's getting a bit like bumpy. But, um, and so um, if um, now, Banjo is going to take you through the one um, night by night ones. So well, before we do that, oh sorry, I'm going to give you a quick.